What up guys, back with not only a vid, but the vid. This has been the most requested since I started this, and it's been the most complicated to try to do. So, therefore, um, if it's your first time here, you might want to listen up, because this is where it came from. This is going to be the hero grading, and this is what it's based on, just to avoid any confusion from my other videos i had mentioned there are heroes i don't have much experience using and haven't been able to like obviously you can see satan right there uh i've only gotten one of him never got a second so i don't have much input on him however i have uh been looking at teams winning and you know like the arena like dominator up here and stuff been looking at those guys um legend been looking at the ones not my team but like teams up here like you know his for example and you're going to start to see a theme going on throughout pretty much all of it so that said um a lot of them are based off of feedback i've gotten from other people uh mr i'm not a whale uh, I'm sure you know him, or you've seen him if you've been in English chat one, was a big contributor, so shout out to him. This list is based on endgame more than it is early on, so you may see some out of place from what you're accustomed to. And by endgame, I mean the guys using double digits worth of power on like five teams. There's some that are very good in the beginning, well, teeter off so they'll be lower on the list but doesn't mean they're not usable um, when it comes to the order I would say for God universe ones the top three were so close they could be interchangeable if you want it so I wouldn't discredit one over the other um, and S pluses which is the other four factions um, pretty much i guess you could say the same thing top three maybe five that's what i was contemplating in my head um would be kind of interchangeable towards the top same thing with s's so i'm going to try to leave timestamps down below and I am going to try to leave those I don't know what I recall specifications I guess for what I was just saying as a pinned comment down below hopefully I remember to do both of those now that I'm saying it out loud um, but that way in case you're part of the non-English speaking community out there uh, maybe that can help you out because you can at least translate it all right, without further ado, let's get at it. Starting off the S's, which is going to come to a shock to many, we're going to go with Kong. His reducing armor 6% is phenomenal. Then you got his blade mail, which mitigates damage, which is phenomenal. Then you have this, which kicks off the minute the fight starts. So even if he dies... What? 25% attack and speed? Come on. Then, gains 100 energy points, meaning he starts with his his uh, special full. So he's firing off the minute the fight starts, making him invaluable. Coming in at number two is going to be Rockefeller. You can't ignore him. I love this dude. There's no better tank, I, in my opinion, there's no better tank in S's than Rock. Like, stand out. Kong isn't really... I mean, maybe you could use him as a... I wouldn't, though. I don't see why you would do that at all. But, <laughs> anyway, Rockefeller. I'm always talking about this dude because I love this dude. Coming in at number three is going to be Sally, Mother of Swarms, for obvious reasons. She's amazing. She does... However, teeter off with some of the S pluses later on. Um, but yeah, Sally. You already know about her. If you've, if you've gotten her in the beginning, you know about Sally. 
coming in at number four is got to be the Russian. Um, I know a lot of people don't really seem to like him, but if you noticed, a lot of our top uh, heroes are going to be found in tech. Um, and because of that, that makes this dude almost invaluable since he's Superman, which is strong against tech. Obviously, he's not going to be the greatest against darks that you'll face out there like Van Helsing. But otherwise, he's a beast. Coming in at number five is going to be Houston. Don't have much experience with her, but I heard she's just as good as Ronan, and I love Ronan. So if that's true, I'll vouch for her at number five. Coming in at number six is going to be questionable for some because they can't seem to get him to work yet. But now that I figured out how to get mine to work, he's definitely, definitely I'm going to start vouching for him because he's beast when you can get him to work um so yeah Van Helsing coming in number six coming in and really every time every time there's a plane anyway coming in at number seven Medusa if you have Medusa you know she's awesome um her her uh not stun her uh paralysis her poison and then she I, I love her in fact she's one of the few that I'm trying to get to immortal the moment if i didn't did i no i did get her to immortal scratch that lady ivy started the user then uh heard some vouches for her can't deny it so she's towards the bottom of this list but she did make the list so there is that um there are a few who did not um her bind thingy with binds or whatever it is it's pretty cool i think it's one of her core skills at this one yeah where the enemy can't act that's awesome to have silas i like him because <clears throat> he can really help shut down van helsing when you're struggling with him um he's pretty good utility wise he goes after whoever's the strongest needless to say there he is but if you are having problems with a falcon ivy would be the better way to go and coming in at number 10 it's going to be Einstein. I Don't quote me on this, but I think he's like one of the only people that revives. There might be another in like God or Universe because I'm not very versed in either of those. But needless to say, there you go. Einstein. What up, guys? I know I was going to put all three of these into one video. But because I knew YouTube, I could do it. It would probably take like all day to download. But problem is... My recorder won't let me save that big, so it's going to have to come out in parts. So this is just going to be S. Part 2 will be S pluses, and then part 3 is going to cover God and Universe. I'm hoping, actually, I can put those two together because God Universe is a lot smaller since there's only so many of them. Um, but we will see. So for now, stay tuned for part 2. I am flesh and I am bone Rise up ting ting like glitter and gold I got fire